realization. The realization attained in the Pure Land way is the wondrous fruition brought about by Amida's perfect benefiting of others. It is revealed in the vow of unfailing attainment of nirvana, also known as the vow of the realization of great nirvana. It may be further called the vow of realization, which is Amida's directing of virtue for our going forth. This realization is purity, reality, and no birth or nirvana, ultimate and consummate. Concerning the supreme nirvana, the passage teaching the fulfillment of this vow in the larger sutra states, quote, The sentient beings who will be born in that land all dwell among the truly settled, for in that Buddha land there is not one of those falsely settled or not settled, close quote. Further, the sutra states, quote, The words men and divas are used only to follow the usage elsewhere. The countenances of beings born in the pure land are dignified and wonderful, surpassing things of this world. Their features, subtle and delicate, are not those of men or divas. All receive the body of naturalness or of non-existence, the body of boundlessness. Close quote. Further, it states, quote, Necessarily, one achieves the abandoning of this world, transcending and parting from it, and attains birth in the land of peace. One sunders crosswise the five evil courses, and the evil courses close naturally. Ascending the way is without limit. The going is easy, but no one is born there. That land is not discordant with the vow. One is drawn there by its spontaneous working. Close quote. With these sacred words of the Buddha, we know clearly that when foolish beings possessed of all blind passions, the multitude of beings caught in birth and death and defiled by evil karma realize the mind and practice that Amida directs to them for their going forth, they come to dwell among the truly settled of the Mahayana teaching. Those who dwell among the truly settled necessarily attain nirvana. When one necessarily attains nirvana, one attains eternal bliss. Eternal bliss is great nirvana. Great nirvana is the fruit that manifests itself in the field of benefiting and converting others. This body is the uncreated dharmakaya. The uncreated Dharmakaya is the body of ultimate equality. The body of ultimate equality is tranquility. Tranquility is reality. Reality is Dharma nature. Dharma nature is suchness. Suchness is oneness. Hence, whether with regard to the cause of birth in the pure land or to its fruition, there is nothing whatever that has not been fulfilled through Amita Tathagata's directing of virtue to beings out of his pure vow mind. Because the cause is pure, the fruit is also pure. Let this be known.